Hi, and welcome back. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the biography Judas, written by Astrid Holida. In this extraordinary story, Astrid reveals a truth about her brother, a notorious criminal who terrorised his own family. Astrid was born in Amsterdam in 1965. She was the youngest of four children who were all in fear of their father. He worked at Heineken, the beer brewery. Every night he would go home drunk and then he would keep drinking, shouting and raging. He would beat his wife and children. The children all tried to stay out of his way and left home as soon as they could. As the eldest child, Willem, or Wim as his family called him, was growing up, he started to resemble his father. He became unpredictable and aggressive and even hit his mother. One day, when Astrid was 13, she stood up to her father after he slammed her sister Sonia's head on the dresser. Astrid was told to leave and never come back. Astrid's mother took the children and fled, but after a while, the family returned to their tormentor. Astrid hated her father so much that when she was 15, she planned to stab him with a kitchen knife. Fortunately for her, she didn't get the chance to carry this out. Her mother could not cope with the violence anymore, and they left, never to return. However, the family still could not relax. Wim became demanding and threatening. He would show up whenever he wanted something. In 1983, the breaking news in the Netherlands was that Freddie Heineken, the brewery tycoon, had been kidnapped. Cor, who was Wim's friend, and Sonia's husband was involved, and so was Wim. Cor and Wim were arrested and put in prison. When Astrid met Yarp, she thought that he was very different to Wim, and that he was easygoing and didn't seem to care about money. He became her boyfriend and they had a baby together. Yarp tried to make money selling art, but it wasn't enough to support his family. In 1992, Cor and Wim were released from jail. With another friend, they bought businesses, including gambling halls and a beach club, using the six million guilders missing from the Heineken ransom. They employed Yarp to run the beach club, while Astrid studied law. After a while, Wim found out that Yarp was stealing money from the club where he worked. Soon Yarp was out of a job, and Astrid's relationship with him deteriorated. The kidnapping of Heineken in 1983 had established Wim's reputation as a ruthless criminal. After his release in 1992, there were several contract killings in Amsterdam in the criminal world. Wim was suspected to be behind these murders. In 1996, the first attempt on Kaur's life failed. In the following year, Kaur was arrested for possession of drugs and firearms. After he was released from prison, he went into hiding. However, in 2003, Kaur was shot and killed outside a restaurant. Sonia and Astrid were terrified of their brother. They knew that he had Kaur murdered and he would have no hesitation to have his sisters killed. Even when Wim was in prison for extortion, he still had the means to have people killed. The hitmen being prosecuted dare not mention Wim's name for fear of their lives and the lives of their families. Over the years, Wim started sharing more and more with Astrid. When he wanted to see her, she had to be available. She was too scared to not be there for him. She became his sounding board. He was trying to get money from his own sister, Sonia, through extortion. He even threatened to harm his own niece to get his way. When Wim's new partner in crime came to Astrid's office needing a lawyer and expecting Astrid, a successful criminal lawyer, to be there for him, she felt cornered. 
The last thing she wanted was to be involved with criminals, so she found the courage to refuse, even though she knew that Wim would be angry with her. Wim had several girlfriends at the same time. He told each one he was in danger and couldn't stay in one place for long. That way he was able to rotate between them. Even when he was in prison, he was able to control the lives of his girlfriends. Sandra, one of Wim's girlfriends, found out that Wim had her husband killed. Then he wormed his way into her life, took her money and threatened to kill her son. When Wim was in prison, Astrid and Sonia decided that they would testify against him, even if it meant risking their lives. In 2012, Wim was released from jail. Astrid had secret meetings with the Justice Department, telling them all she knew about Wim's crimes. She started to record the conversations that she was having with Wim. She was terrified that Wim would discover the recording device she had hidden. After speaking to Astrid, Sandra decided that she too would risk her life and testify against Wim. Finally, in 2014, Wim was arrested, but Astrid still did not feel safe. This exciting memoir was a best-selling book in the Netherlands in 2016. I would highly recommend that you read this fantastic first-hand account of the life of a ruthless criminal. Thanks for watching.